Boy Kashar. It is I, Randall, the clickbait crusader, coming at you with that gangster fire. Despite last week's sad news regarding Zack Snyder's family tragedy, the hate bandwagon has continued rolling. Let's take a look at the timeline before and after the announcement that Snyder was stepping away from the Justice League movie. Photos began circulating on the 15th of May of ecstatic fans at a special Wonder Woman event in China. One particular fan was spotted holding a Lord Snyder poster. A good time was had by all. All this fun clearly caused the trigger. Because just 24 hours later, this fuckwit decided to spring a story out of thin air, claiming that Justice League reshoots had overhauled the movie, twice. This was debunked immediately. It sees a clicks and views for sites to report negativity on DCEU movies, because it draws in the fans as well as the haters. Take Joanna Robinson for example, seen a writer for Vanity Fair, she has a blue tick next to her name. This is what she tweets. And this is the kind of shit, she goes on to publish, activates sarcasm, clearly no bias at all, deactivates sarcasm. Her tweets about Snyder have recently been deleted. Even though Snyder cast Gal Gadot as Diana Prince, contributed to the writing and directing of scenes for Wonder Woman the movie, there are many who refuse to acknowledge these facts. Could it be that all these pseudo-feminists, bloggers, and journalists, know in their hearts, that Zack Snyder has done more for feminism in the movie industry than they ever will, helping young actresses with their careers and directing strong woman characters in his movies? Checkmate, you fuckers. How about Lindsay Ellis? She has a blue tick next to her name. Tweets about Snyder hating his dead mother. When she is called out for it, she admits she knows nothing about Snyder, and that it was only a joke. Perfect example of a little rat, feeding off the, hate Snyder at all costs narrative being spread on social media. Lindsay, I understand that nobody wants to fuck you, but that's no reason to make jokes about someone's dead mother. All of this, just hours before the sad announcement that Zack Snyder was to step away from directing the Justice League movie, to be replaced by Joss Whedon, how did one particular site, who have a blue tick next to their name, report this news? Ah yes, no mention for the cause of this decision, because they wanted reactions, like this. Their own followers had to tell them to delete this tweet. Do you really think the best reaction to this news should be? Thank you Jesus. Kevin here explained he hadn't read the article. It clearly says, family tragedy, in the tweet you're quoting, you fucking pleb. When even the movie's subredditors to close a thread on such horrible news because wankers want to express their irrational hatred for Snyder, or when the Rock notices what the inconsiderate bastards are up to and has to tweet common sense you know how fucked the movie fan community has become matt goldberg who has a blue tick next to his name felt the need to mention that he doesn't like snyder films before expressing his sympathy who is matt goldberg oh senior editor for collider.com let's take a look at his previous tweet about Zack snyder oh oh dear I have come to the conclusion, that people with blue ticks next to their names on Twitter, have not been verified because of their intelligent tweets, but more for their contacts and job roles. So remember, arguing with someone who has a blue tick is like fighting a bully, even if they win, nobody likes them. Hashtag, Zach will be back.